Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be talking about the hottest luxury brands that you've never heard of. Is the title dramatic? Yes. And you've probably heard of a couple of these, but maybe not all. You know I like to tell you about brands and products and whatever that maybe you haven't heard about or seen. So that is what I am doing today. I'm really excited about the 10 and a bonus luxury brands today that we are going to get through. In case you're looking for something a little bit interesting, you're looking for brands on the rise, whatever it is, I'm here to expand your horizons. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? All of the brands will be linked below. Let's go. Number one. Oh, this brand really just does, it hits me in my soul. It hits me in my fashion loving little soul, Miss Sohi. Yes, London based South Korean designer focusing on women's wear. And I actually believe that she started out as an illustrator and then turned couture designer. Yes, because that's exactly what you just do. Her designs are all about whimsy and fantasy. And it really encapsulates that magical side of fashion that personally speaks to my to my tiny little soul. It's escapism. She debuted her first collection in 2020. The designs have been seen on Miley Cyrus, Cardi B, Naomi Campbell, Bella Hadid, Gemma Chan, um, Ariana Grande. And she's recently one of Netta Porte's vanguard designers. What does that mean? Basically they handpick a selection of emerging designers that they provide business support and advice to. This means that she has released just a little sprinkling of ready to wear. And it's absolutely everything. I love the colors, the sparkle. It just completely transports me to like, what a unicorn fantasy is to children, Miss Sohi is to me. This, this collection in particular, Mystical Mermaid. It's the little mermaid, but grown up. It's absolutely just, I love it. I love it so much. In particular, I love the set that's like a little jacket and the matching skirt in this like peacock colors. The skirt has stretch, thank God. There's little crystal details. It's just, beautiful and girly and fun. I'm really, really excited about her getting more and more into ready to wear. Gen Z's wish lists are filled with Fancy Club. This is a Vietnamese brand born in 2020. It is tight, sheer, ruffles. All of those very, like, I purely do not have the confidence to pull any of these pieces off. But my gosh, the people that are Good for you, truly. Seen on the likes of Hailey Bieber, Bella Hadid. I do think that initially a lot of the pieces may look a little bit like, you know, a little bit too short and sheer for me personally. Some of the pieces I think can be styled in a way that maybe, you know, would work for somebody who maybe likes to wear something a little bit more conservative. Um, for example, the November rain top that just looks like you've been sort of attacked by a very chic octopus and its glorious flowing roughly tentacles are adorning your body. That with a trouser as they've styled it here is, is brilliant and I think it looks great. Very much pieces to be seen in, like I said, that sheer, the feathers, you know, there's a lot of fun about it. 2020 really was the time to create new brands. Another one, Interior. This is a New York based brand. They really focus on craftsmanship and each piece of clothing has like elements of tailoring, elements of sportswear in there. And I think if you look at the pieces, it's very sort of obvious that craftsmanship and sort of cut is a very big part of what they do. You can really see how thoughtful each piece is. I did just want to uh, drag your attention to these sheer sequin tops. There's also a dress. It looks like a shower of magical ocean water and enrobing your body. I don't know, that sounded so ridiculously over the top, but that's what it makes me think of. It looks um, mythical. I think that's a really good brand to also keep on top of. They also have a really great turtleneck that's striped that I really like, and I think I would like it in the black and white, please and thank you. Maximilian Davis. Manchester born, come on north of England, who is now creator director of Ferragamo, does have his own eponymous line. 
what is Maximilian Davis? You are thinking of if Rick Owens and Max Mara had a baby, it would be Maximilian Davis. You've got a bit of that sexiness mixed with wearability. Again, there's very big attention to detail on the cuts and the tailoring of pieces. A sexiness that doesn't feel overly sexy. There is a two piece that I would do borderline terrible things for in a gray. First of all, you've got this sort of asymmetric blazer looking top that actually it's got two parts to it. You can take the top part off. We love versatility. Okay. That has like a matching skirt. That's like a pleated skirt. But again, the way it's cut, it flares out a little bit more together. They look divine. One separately, they would also still kill it. Are you looking for party wear? Are you looking for something a little bit like area, but not quite area? Romani, the label. Rom Romani? Romani? Not sure how to pronounce. A Dubai-based label that really focuses on, there's a lot of satin, there's a lot of crystals involved. Party, evening, night out, GNO. Let's dance on the tables. Let's make some mistakes safe ones. Let's flirt with some guys we're never going to see again. Those kind of vibes. On the complete opposite end of that spectrum, you've got a brand like Ottolinga. Berlin-based label. It's been making waves for a while in, you know, the fashion industry. They sort of fall into that ugly, chic selection of designers and designs that are having a moment, truly. Very anti-commercial attitude, deconstructed, very Gen Z vibes. Um, I quite like their wrap pant and I think that that's a versatile piece that you could do a lot with. It's a little bit Mad Max, end of the world style. Again, you don't have to commit to a full look. I think if you look at the individual pieces, they're a lot more wearable than it may seem altogether. Moving on to a brand that is both men's and women's, Alualia. She is a LVMH prize winner and she uses dead stock and upcycled materials um, to create her pieces and she really focuses on the cultural diaspora. She, I believe, is Nigerian and Indian mix and she likes to pull inspiration from both of those cultures in her designs. There's quite a lot of patterns. I quite like the denim pieces that have the patterns printed on. I think that they're really great. There's a really nice denim dress. And also, if you love like a 70s looking jumpsuit, there's also a denim version of that, that if you can pull off, that would be fantastic. Another very different brand, Chapova Loena, a lot of brands are using dead stock and recycled materials and I really like that. I think it, you know, obviously sustainability wise it's great. I think it lends to a different kind of creativity. Chapova Loena is another, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is another brand that does that and uses those sorts of materials. Most notably known for their tartan skirts that are sort of held together by safety pins and then you've got this leather strap across the top of it. Very folky vibes meet sportswear. They also use female artisans in Bulgaria to create some of their pieces. Another brand also using upcycled materials is a Rihanna favourite. This is Connor Ives, an American designer and he his most notable pieces I would say are the t-shirts and t-shirt dresses that are constructed from lots of like vintage and old t-shirts I really like them I really think they're quite cool it's not for everyone I personally think the pieces are very cool in a street wary way uh, maybe I need one of the long sleeves and then we do it with the jean I don't know I find I think it's very interesting I think it's quite creative there is obviously a very sort of DIY level of this that's like I could do that at home but can you be bothered if you're a seasoned subscriber you should know this brand but maybe this is maybe you haven't seen that much of me I am introducing you to Decore. London based shoe brand and I am obsessed a celebrity favorite Dua Lipa loves these shoes um Lady Gaga has been seen in them Beyonce Doja Cat Ariana Grande. There's a lot of them that are very statementy, very platformy. All of them are quite statementy, purely based on the colours. The colours are very rich, saturated 
mm, delicious. Um, you don't have to go for something that's, you know, platform like this. They do have non-platform. They also have a range of other styles on the website that are really great. And personally, I think this is the hot new shoe brand. I've been shouting this from the rooftops for a while now. I shall not calm down about it. Um, I need you to know and definitely give them a look if you are looking for like a cool pair of heels. Bonus, a bag brand, Marina Raphael. Crystals. If you love a crystal, if you love TBE, Marina Raphael. Oh, I love them. Okay, so my particular favourites are these little trunks, right? They're called the Venix bags. Venix? Little treasure boxes, right? Keep all of your little secrets and buried treasure and look at the colours that they do them in. Did you see that Tinkerbell green? Did you see the lilac? The black? Like, all of it's truly... Ah, oh, sumptuous and magical. But they also do some like mini tote style ones as well. I'm not too much of a fan of those. It's the treasure boxes for me. Let me know what you thought about some of the brands that I introduced you today. Did I introduce you to them? Did you know them anyway? Let me know. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.